What is the science behind perfecting homemade pizza dough? 1. The role of flour in dough texture. Flour is the primary ingredient in pizza dough, and its type greatly impacts the dough's texture. High protein flours, like bread flour, develop more gluten, which gives the dough elasticity and chewiness. For a lighter, airier crust, you might use all purpose flour, which has less protein. 2. Understanding yeast fermentation. Yeast is crucial for dough leavening. It ferments the sugars in the flour, producing carbon dioxide gas, which makes the dough rise. This fermentation process also develops flavor. Ensure your yeast is fresh and properly activated, and let the dough rise in a warm, draft-free environment to maximize the yeast's effectiveness. 3. The importance of kneading. Kneading dough develops gluten, which provides structure and elasticity. Proper kneading aligns the gluten strands and helps trap gases produced by yeast, resulting in a light and airy pizza crust. Knead the dough until it's smooth and elastic, but avoid overneading, which can make the dough too tough. 4. Hydration levels and dough consistency. The amount of water, hydration, in your dough affects its consistency. A higher hydration level results in a softer, more extensible dough, which is ideal for a thin, crisp crust. Conversely, lower hydration creates a firmer dough, better for a thicker, chewier crust. Aim for a dough hydration level of around 60 to 65% for a good balance. 5. Salt's role in flavor and structure. Salt not only enhances the flavor of pizza dough but also regulates yeast activity. It strengthens gluten structures, improving dough elasticity and consistency. However, too much salt can inhibit yeast growth, so use the recommended amount, typically about 1.5 to 2% of the flour weight. 6. Resting and proofing for optimal texture. Allowing the dough to rest and proof is essential for developing flavor and texture. The first rise, bulk fermentation, should last about 1 to 2 hours until the dough doubles in size. After shaping, a second proofing period of 30 to 60 minutes helps relax the dough, making it easier to stretch and shape. 7. The impact of temperature on dough development. Temperature affects yeast activity and dough consistency. Ideally, the dough should rise at temperatures between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 to 27 degrees Celsius. Cold temperatures slow yeast activity, while too much heat can cause over-fermentation. For better control, you can refrigerate the dough for an extended, slow rise, which enhances flavor development. 8. The role of oil in dough softness. Adding oil to pizza dough can improve its texture and prevent it from becoming too dry. Oil helps make the dough softer and easier to stretch while adding a subtle richness to the crust. Use a neutral oil, like olive oil, and add it in moderation about 2 to 3 tablespoons per 4 cups of flour. 9. Baking techniques for a perfect crust. The baking environment is crucial for achieving a perfect pizza crust. A preheated pizza stone or steel can replicate the high temperatures of a pizza oven, creating a crispy bottom. Bake the pizza at a high temperature, around 475 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 245 to 260 degrees Celsius, to ensure the crust cooks evenly and develops a golden brown color. 10. Troubleshooting common issues. If your dough is too sticky, it might need more flour. If it's too dry, add a bit more water. For a dense crust, ensure proper kneading and proofing. By adjusting ingredients and techniques based on these factors, you can consistently create a pizza dough that's flavorful and has the desired texture. Perfecting homemade pizza dough involves understanding and balancing various factors, including flour type, yeast fermentation, kneading, and hydration. By mastering these elements and following proper techniques, you can achieve a delicious, restaurant-quality pizza crust every time.